Hotep, I am the Amen Osiris, the one and only undisputed God of law. We are Deception Stoppers, the 4D Destroyers, America's only child support education service. I am not a lawyer. This is not a law firm. We do not advocate that you don't support your human offspring. We simply advocate that you made them in private, raise them in private. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today, what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about jurisdiction. Okay. Now, gentlemen, we are based off of common sense. And the only way that you can have common sense is if you know common words. Okay. So I'm going to be coming today from the Section 8 Federal Child Support Enforcement Program, page 65. Now, I've showed you this before, but I'm going to take it to another level. And again, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Now, it says under audits and financial penalties, the 4D program is a partnership between the federal government and the states. OK, now, gentlemen, knowing words and I'm going to say it again, knowing these words, and I've been telling you this for many, many years. If you do not know the words that you are reading, you will not prevail. I don't care what it is that you are doing. OK, anybody can read a word, but to know exactly what that word means and to know exactly the words within that word mean, then you will be free. Remember, then you will learn the truth and the truth will set you free. Now, remember, gentlemen, we're not reinventing the wheel here. You're just going to simply take and use what is provided for you. All right. It's very simple. You're going to use the Title IV D crime families information against them. All right. You can't go wrong. Because now, if you use it against them, <clears throat> they can't come back and tell you that you're wrong. If they come back and tell you that you're wrong, then they're openly admitting that they're operating under color of law, which they are anyway. All right. So let's dig into this. And I did a little breakdown for you. All right. If you want to contact me, hit me at IV uh, 4D Destroyer at uh, underscore destroyer at yahoo.com. And we're going to label this one Shut the 4D Crime Family Down. Now, we're going to talk about a couple things. First thing we're going to talk about is the jurisdictional clause. For those of you who do not realize, all right, Title IV D is equity. Okay. Now let's talk about the jurisdictional clause. In equity practice, that part of a bill which is intended to give jurisdiction of the suit to the court by a general avertment that ha that the acts complained of are contrary to equity and tend to the injury of the complainant and that he has no remedy or not a complete remedy without the assistance of a court of equity is called the jurisdictional clause. Okay. Now, what is an avertment? In a pleading, a positive statement of facts in opposition to argument or interface. Avertments were formerly said to be general and particular but only particular avertments are found in modern pleadings. All right. So this is done in equity. What is equity? OK, now here should be your clue. Equity is ob obligation is ethical rather than jural. All right. And its discussion belongs to the sphere of morals grounded in the precepts of the conscience not any sanction of positive law. Is Title IV D enacted into positive law? No, it is not. It is under Title 42 of the United States Codes, the Health and Welfare Code, which houses Title IV A and D of the Social Security Act, but Title IV 42 itself was never enacted into positive law. It is prima facie evidence of law. Prima facie is a, a presumption which is mandatory unless and until rebutted. Okay? So, what you have here is in, in, in Title IV D, and gentlemen, they call it child support. There's no such thing as child support. They call it that. They got everybody saying that. All right. I even use it on my videos, but uh, the reason I use it is because when people click in child support, it's going to pop right to it and they can get the real deal. All right. But it's Title IV D. All it is is a collection agency. It's a loan agency. Title IV A is a loan agency. All right. And Title IV D is a collection agency for the loan agency. That's all it is. OK, so that being said, what is jurisdiction? Jurisdiction, the word is a term of large and comprehensive import and embraces every kind of judicial action. Is child support a judicial action? What branch of the government is child support fall under? It falls under the executive branch, does it not? OK, the separation of powers clearly states 
that the three branches of government shall forever remain separate and distinct, and no person from one branch shall exercise the duties of another. So how is it that the court is getting jurisdiction in these 4D hearings? I'm going to show you that. Now, it is the authority by which courts and judicial officers take cognizance of and decides cases. All right. <clears throat> Let me ask you a question. Let's, let's check here. I think I got one up. All right. Let's look at the jurisdiction of a court. And let's see, where is it at? Section 11, uh, I'm in Utah Constitution, okay? Article 1, Section 11, courts open redress of injuries. All courts shall be open, and every man for an injury done him, his person's property and reputation, shall have remedy by due course of law, which shall be administered without sale, denial, or unnecessary delay. All right. And no person shall be barred from prosecuting or defending before any tribunal in the state by himself or counsel any civil case cause to which he is a party. OK, so without an injury, there's no party. And without without excuse me, without an injury, there's no jurisdiction. That's the court's only jurisdiction. OK, you, who's the injured party? All right. But what they've done. Is they, uh, you know, they say, oh, child, child support is civil. Title IV is civil. It's not civil. It's done in equity because it's not done. It's not uh, any sanction of positive law. Okay. The courts only have authority. There must be an injury. There must be an injured party. All right. The legal right by which judges exercise their authority. Well, child support's under the executive branch. The judge's authority is under the judicial branch. And the separation of power says they can't mix. It exists when court has cognizance of class of cases involved. Proper parties are present and, and point to be decided is within issues. What is the point to be decided? The injury. Who's the injured party? There's no injured party in child support in Title 4D. Never was and never will be. Okay? It is, the, it is the authority, capacity, power, right to act. All right? And this meaning the court. So authority. Where does the court get its authority from? Where does the judge get his authority from? The Constitution. Okay. Where does the judge get his authority from to, to move upon a case? The Constitution. All right. And under the Constitution, there must be an injury to property or reputation. Okay. His person, his property or his reputation. When it says his person, that means you physically. Okay. Remember, anytime you see the word person in the, in the Constitution, and the preamble of the Constitution says, we the people of the state uh, pay homage to Almighty God. So if God, under Genesis 1 and 26, created man in his image and likeness, then within the Constitution, even though they use the word person, it pertains to a man. You have to learn how to be able to decipher the difference between a person as a man and a person as a corporation. All right. Matter of fact, look. Person means an individual, public or private corporation, government partnership or unincorporated association. Does it say anything about a man? No. This is for the statutes. When it comes to the Constitution, all right, the word person changes into man. All men are by nature equal, free, and independent. All right, free means not subject to the restraint of another. Independent means not dependent, not subject to control, restriction, or modification from any given outside source. Okay? If you don't know the meanings of those words, gentlemen, you can't claim your rights. All right, let's continue. So here's where the equity, okay, the avertment, and the jurisdiction come into play. And this is how you prove simply that the court does not have jurisdiction. And before we go here, let's check this out. Wait, you know what? Now I'm going to go down here. So again, federal manual, uh, section 8. Federal Child Support Enforcement Program pays 65 audits and penalties. The 4D program is a partnership between the federal government and the states. All right. These are their words. Partnership, an association between two or more persons to carry on as co-owners of a business for profit. Okay. Look. Two or more persons. What is a person? Individual, public, or private corporation, government, what? Partnership or unincorporated association. That's right there. All right, so these are corporations here, okay? So 
if the federal government, which is a corporation, 28 U.S.C. 3215A, and the state government, which is a corporation because it is an instrumentality of the United States, all right, is uh, they're in a partnership. So they're admitting they're two corporations, all right, and they're carrying on as co-owners of a business for profit. Business, what is business? Activity or enterprise for gain, advantage, which benefits what? Corporations, organizations, or its members. What is profit? Gain realized from business investment. Now, if the child support program is a partnership, it is a business for profit, who do they make their profits off of? Let's take a look. Oh, look, the Tennessee Department of Human Services is interested, is interested, is interested learning of ways to better serve its what? Its customers. Let's look at Georgia. The Division of Child Support Services is excited to offer our customers a variety of self-service options available to you when you call our automated line, customer service. So who does this business make its profit off of? Customers. All right, so let's look at something. To illustrate this point, one who is shopping in a Walmart store cannot be compelled to wear a Walmart uniform. Walmart cannot sell or paint the automobile of someone who is shopping in Walmart. Walmart does not have jurisdiction over the shopper. If that shopper does not purchase anything from Walmart, such non-performance cannot be used to penalize the shopper. Now, if the shopper takes a product from Walmart without paying for it, the entire dynamic changes. Okay, so here you have a private business. Where is this private business located? This business for profit, it's located in the executive branch, is it not? Thank you, the 42 USC 654.3. So let's look at how they get the courts, all right, to work and, and do what the court needs to be done. Check this out. Number seven, a 4D contract with a court in the same county as the CSEA for, uh, for probation officer services to provide enforcement services. Wait, that's number one I want. Hold on. My bad, I got to go back up. Sorry, my phone is buzzing over here. All right, Title 4D, as you know, it is all done under contract. All right, without a contract, they cannot run that, that 4D franchise. Check it out. 4D contract means a mutually binding legal relationship obligating a what? Government entity to provide 4D services in a 4D case or perform other administrative duties of the CSEA that pertain to a 4D case in return for payment by the CSEA. So the CSEA, is the, that's part of the partnership, isn't it? This is a business for profit. So that means that every time it goes to court, check this out, look. It's going to a contractor, refers to a government entity with whom the CSEA enters a 4D contract. Look, who's the first one? Court, sheriff, prosecutor. All right, these people are getting bribed. That's what they are. And they don't have jurisdiction because there's no injury. There's no injured party. All right, so if you want to go in and challenge the jurisdiction, guess what? All you have to do is use the common sense and use the words that are in these books and tear those words down and you can't go wrong. Okay? Child support is a business. It has no jurisdiction all right, to enforce any court hearing. And if it is enforcing a court hearing, then it's doing it under what? Contract. All right? Under that contract, that judge is not a judge. That judge is a contractor. Look, contractor refers to a government entity with whom the CSE enters a contract. Government entity includes a court. But more importantly, here's the definitions of a government entity. Court, prosecutor, sheriff, clerk of court, recorder's office, yada, yada, yada. Let's go down to line 13. Private entity means a company, organization, or individual that does not meet the definition of a governmental entity. Do you see the Child Support Enforcement Agency up here in the definitions of a governmental entity? Huh? <laughs> you don't see it here, do you? All right, let's, it, it doesn't exist. Look, government entity includes the, the, the following entities, court, prosecutor, sheriff, clerk of court, recorder's office, treasurer's office, any other public. All right, see it, the Child Support Enforcement Agency is not here. That means they're bribing the courts under a Title IV-D contract all right, to hear the cases, to give it that, that you know, this is, this is real court shit. It's not. All right. And on top of that, look, they're doing this in return for payment by this private corporation. So these are private actions. They're not even equity. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. OK, this is a business for profit. OK. And one more thing. Let me show you this. All right. This is the new federal manual child support. All right. 65. 
States still make a profit on their child support program. States are free to spend the state's share of collections in any manner they see fit. I'm the Amin Osiris. If you have an issue with child support, all right, uh, bang my email, 4D underscore destroy at yahoo.com. All right, we'll set up an appointment and I will show you how to get rid of this problem. And uh, incidentally, uh, look out, we're going to be interviewing Aquaman this afternoon. And so you guys can uh, hear it for yourself. All right, how to go about at least starting how to get this done on your own. Okay, I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate all the shouts outs, fellas. Yes, I'm fine in here. I just took advantage of this little holiday time to get some work done and, of course, get a little rest for myself. Even though I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't do holidays, but I, I will take advantage of the time. <laughs> all right, so I can put my feet up and watch me some, you know, uh, some good videos and, and drink a cold beer and, you know, do what needs to be done. All right, so. I definitely appreciate your concerns, uh, but we're good to go out here, gentlemen. Um, we're going to be back in the swing of things here. Just had to take a little time off, get a little rest. All right, we're going to be seeing everybody very soon. And again, we're going to be interviewing Aquaman this afternoon. He's going to tell his story. All right, in the meantime, everything that I just showed you here, look it up and confirm it to be true. All right, go to your, start looking at the state website. Stop look, Start looking at these Title IV-D applications. Get yourself a Black's Laws Dictionary, revised fourth edition, and start tearing down the words. And more importantly, when you find the definition of the words, tear down the, the definition words that are in that, and then tear them down until you can't tear them down anymore. And I guarantee you, you will speak their language. I'm the Amin Osiris. Hotel.